We are back with the lovely Audrey Batani. She appears at Blush tonight. Audrey, what time is the first show? First show is at 11. No, I am prevailing. 11, that's late. I, I think you get a better crowd, though, when it's late. Especially on a, I understand maybe a little earlier on a Thursday, because tomorrow, uh, Friday, is like a work day and stuff, but usually people get a later start on the weekend. Well, I'm prevailing on all my Madden followers, the MFers, to go down and see Audrey Batani tonight. A wonderful-looking girl, a wonderful show. Even if she wears on stage what she's wearing now, that would not be bad. So <laughs> check out Audrey Batani at Blush tonight, first show at 11 o'clock. Now, uh, we talked about sports the last time you were in, and you described yourself as a cliched sports fan. So now that football is upon us, who are you rooting for? I'm not into football. I was actually just talking to Mark about this. Um, another Mark, sorry. People might be confused. Um, yeah, I don't really follow football. I don't like it. I like to watch like a game. It's too much stop and go, huddle. Like I said, I love you more every second. What, you're not a football fan? I'm forced to watch football. Oh. I'm held hostage by football from September through the Super Bowl. Yeah, I would say I'm more of a soccer and, ho- soccer and hockey. Oh. Well, basketball because all the white guys. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so, so what teams do you root for? You said Derek Jeter, which is yes. the cliched guy to root for, just because he's hot. And, but that's what I t- and that was my argument is I'm still a girl. Like, I, of course, I still like the hot. Guys what are, what other hot athletes? Fans. What other athletes do you root for? Um, I don't like Tony Parker from the Spurs. Right. Um, Kobe Bryant, of course, and. Oh, I would say my new favorite though is Dwight Howard. Their shoulders, they're so broad. I'm like, that's. Would ew, you sleep with Dwight Howard? Head? Yes, I would. You would? Yeah. Kobe Bryant. Now, we're, see, Audrey Batani has totally redeemed herself in front of the black race in this go. great audience. <laughs> that is definitely tremendous. Can we say uh, that again? <laughs> do, you, do, you get, do you get to games much, like any kind of games? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do enjoy. Um, I've been to several Yankee games because my best friend lives in New York, so I frequent right. there. And then um, he's a diehard Mets fan, so we go to City Field. And I bought those stupid bricks, so I wanted to check them out. What the, stupid bricks? The fan bricks. The uh, fan walk. And somebody actually, I bought one in my real name, and then I bought Audrey Batani, and then I had a uh, New York paper. There is a New York like, Mets fan brick with Audrey Batani on it at City yes. Field. I bet someday men will worship there. So there's like a pile of gum on it. It's like it's like we have a, a Roberto Clemente statue at the, at the Pirates thing. Mm. Someday people will say, well, we'll meet by the Audrey Batani brick. Brick, there we go. That, that, maybe a statue of you someday. Yeah. In those shorts. That would be, <laughs> that would be lovely. Now, uh, here's another thing we've been asking all the girls. We didn't touch base... On it with you last time. Do you date inside or outside the industry? Neither, actually. I haven't dated in, and like, I don't go on dates. It's the weirdest thing for like five years. So it has nothing to do with the industry. But I wouldn't date in the industry. That wouldn't make me comfortable at all. I don't want to date somebody that sleeps with like a plethora of girls. I don't want any like ties. It's like, that's work. I get home and live like a normal life. So the only sex you have is for work? Yeah, it's a little sad. But then, yeah. But I'm busy all the time. So when I do have like, I'm off. I'm like, I want to be alone. Now, do you long for interpersonal relationships, or is that not a big deal to you at this point? No, at this point, it's not a big deal. And, I mean, I wouldn't even want to start a relationship. I don't want it to hinder, like, you know, my my work schedule. I don't want it to. Right, because no guy is going to accept this. No. Am I right? Have you ever tried? Yeah, they always say, but people ask, them like, oh, is it because of that reason? And, no, I do know, like, a couple normal guys that, like, they know what I do, and they can discern, like, okay, that's, like, not even how she is, you know completely different but they so. could never live with it i don't think i couldn't i think they would say it and and mean well and but i think eventually it well would, look at uh, vincent chase and sasha gray on entourage which we'll talk about in just a minute up. now so when was the last time you actually dated Jeez. last time yeah i would say it was my boyfriend when i was like 19 or something crazy and that was before you did video uh-huh really and, and once you got into the adult industry just no boyfriends no not at all wow yeah now, for that reason, there are certain guys you prefer to work with that give you, what's the word I'm looking for, greater fulfillment? Because um, if the only sex you're having is the sex on camera, it better be good, right? Yeah, but it's funny that you would think, like, um, all the young, younger, more attractive guys, you would think, like, oh, but sometimes I get, like, more excited about just, you know, the guy that doesn't... Well, the older guy's the pros. Out. The older guy's the pros, right? <laughs> yeah. What's the oldest guy you ever worked with? Um, worked with Peter North? No. Uh, Tommy Gunn? How old's Tommy Gunn? Tommy Gunn, I would say he's... He's 40, right? Mid-40s, right. definitely. Um, I've worked with Tommy, and I would he's say... In Spears, he's in every video. He's in every video, Tommy Gunn. He is, Gunn. and he actually has a cameo on uh, Entourage now, too. I don't know if you saw that. Are you serious? Yeah, they. I guess they follow uh, Sasha to set. I just oh, Vince comes to Sasha's yeah. set. I did see the preview and of that. That should be pretty good. What about the... Who's the young guy that's in, like, everyone? James Dean. 
James Dean, he he's very attractive. Really? And he, he's so your face lit up. I don't know. I see a future for you and James Dean, baby. <laughs> so all my teeth. Um, no, he has a he has a steady girlfriend, so he's off the market. Really? Yeah. Well, he's off the market for now. Come on. Right. Now, what about the girls? And we've had discussions on this show with Jenna Hayes about this. Mm-hmm. The idea that if you have a boyfriend, Tegan Presley does this now too. If you have a boyfriend, you can only do girl girl. Okay. I mean, you can do whatever you want, obviously. Right. But doesn't that just cut your popularity to the quick? I'm happy, though, when girls do it. I'm like, more fans for me. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, like, for for adult video to be successful, I think the guy has to be able to put himself in the place of the person on screen with Audrey Bethany. And if it's a girl, I can't do that. Right. And I think it's just ridiculous because the relationships, they never last. And then right. so they're back, like, in three months doing boys. So it's like, well... That's money in your pocket. Like, yeah. You are the most logical and economically sound adult video store we've ever had in here, I want you to know. Thank you. That's a, you, you You must keep a lot of the money you take home. I bet you don't squander it. No, not at all. Because I mean, these other girls, they just spend it hand over fist, right? Yeah, you know, and I don't, I don't go shopping. I'm like, you know, I don't even wear makeup. What's the most extravagant thing you've bought for yourself since your career started? I would say my one week, my one weakness excuse me, is uh, Louis Vuitton bags. Really? How many of those you got? Couple. And how much are those? Those are real expensive. Uh, right? Yeah, like at least two thousand each. Two thousand each. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't. It, I, I mean, it's my like. Do they feature in your joy. act tonight? No. They do not. No, I'll get sued by Louis Vuitton. Now, now, what what do you wear on stage tonight? What, what do you, wear? you wear like costumes, like cheerleader, nurse. You're, you're quite to. often a nurse, a aren't nurse? you? Uh, yeah. In video, you're quite often a nurse. I've yeah. caught that. That and it was something else. I'm like, people are making the patient comfortable. There's almost something like very Florence Nightingale ish about it. Yes, right. Um, I do have a nurse costume, but I like more elaborate lingerie now. So I don't really? know. I don't know where the costume thing, whoever explained feature dancing, they said like costume, but I feel like weird, like going up there like a cowgirl or something. Well, now, if you'll if you remember, I was heading out of town the last time you were here, so I did not catch your show. I will be there tonight. From the time you walk on stage, how long is it till you're naked? Me, I always rush it. I'm always like, you need to slow Good. down. No, no, rush it. Rush, rush it? Yes, rush it. No, me, then I'm like, oh my gosh, Absolutely, I still well, the guys want to see you naked minutes. right away. No, but there's no, there's no, there's no, like, it doesn't progress. It's like, oh, she's dressed and all of a sudden she's naked. I need to do, like, the, I go to A to D. There's no B, C, D. You know like, one of the best shows I ever saw on stage? Somebody just talking about off the air bit. Brianna Banks, one time at a club in West Virginia, it's like eight years ago. Mm-hmm. She lost her stage outfit. She went on stage and stripped out of her street clothes. Oh, really? And the way she did it, the way she paced it, and she didn't put on makeup. She just did it as if she was coming in off the street. And let me tell you what, she got such a reaction. It was really, like, different erotic. You should try that. Out of the shorts here in the the green Adidas top. Let's call him. I'll see if he'll let me go on stage right now. He wouldn't, would he? I don't don't think so. No, you're right. He'd be like, "Uh, you're forgetting something. Go back upstairs. (laughs) Audrey, uh, we talked about Sasha Gray and Entourage. Have you seen her at all there? I have. Uh, what's your take on that? What's your take on girls crossing over like that? And is she really crossing over if every time she does legitimate film or TV, she plays a sex worker? That's exactly like what people say. And they're like, oh, you know, you should do that and stuff. And I've had offers to have small parts like on Entourage. But you always play like the topless or like the stripper. It's like not right. funny if you really are that, you know? If it's like Lindsay Lohan playing a stripper, I want to see that all day. But like when you're a stripper, it's not like, I don't know. I'd rather not be. Uh, so you have no no desire to be no, a crossover star, no. so to speak. I mean, if it was a different role rather than something, you know. What do you think of Sasha's related? acting? She's not Great. listening. <laughs> oh. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything. No. I, I mean, I, I have no opinion. So it's terrific. It's, yes. Now, uh, here's what I see. Here's my idea for you. I thought about this for at least 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> I see you in a remake of The Sound of Music. Why? Only naked and with more sex. Okay. <laughs> you ever seen Sound of Music? So long ago. See, you're one of the few women that's been in your seat that does what you do that would even admit to knowing the Sound of Music. Most of them would just not know. Oh, really? So it's gonna be a comp- you're gonna be a comp- maybe you're gone with the wind too. You I've know. seen pieces that it's a little long and little. Which is why you need to get naked slow. fast, just like on stage tonight. Naked fast? No, believe me, it happens each time I tell myself, okay, you need to slow down, but it doesn't happen. Audrey's always has been a real pleasure. And you do look pleasure. lovely. You're, you're one you. of our favorite guests. We will see you tonight at Blush at 11 o'clock. You're there tomorrow night as well. And we look forward to having you back. Great. 
I hope to be back. That is Audrey Batani. I'm Mark Madden. She's at Blush tonight, 11 o'clock, 105.9 The X.